I do rate, to be fair. The cops aren't really trying to like stop it as such. Hello legends, and I hope the intro wasn't like a disaster and that Ipswich lost. Um, <laughs> that would not be good. Um, Ipswich coming promotion day, my hair is very fluffy, I've just got out of bed. And um, oh, I'm so excited for this Exeter game. If Ipswich win, they will be promoted out of League One, finally. It's the last home game of the season. Um, it's going to be a party atmosphere, there's going to be a few beers flying around, there's going to be, you know, people are talking about a pitch invasion. Um... I won't get involved in a pitch invasion, personally. Um, I also think it's a bit weird to like pre-plan a pitch invasion. I don't know what you think of that, but like, surely like the idea of it is that it's like an impulsive thing. Like the emotions took over, so we've all run on the pitch. Not oh boys, we're going to go on the pitch at, at, at you know four fifty-eight or whatever. I find it weird, but it's pre-planned. But anyway, if there is a pitch invasion, it'll be at the end of this vlog, and you'll get to see it because I'm in the. The front row of Portland Road, so there will be plenty of footage of like um, the players celebrating after the game and stuff. So it's going to be an exciting vlog. Um, I'm just in a good mood. Like I've woke up in a good mood. I woke up thinking like, if she's going to win. Um, I played football last night as well. I didn't play particularly great or particularly. Well, I didn't play great to be honest. Uh, like I could be like, oh, I didn't play too bad, but mm, I didn't have my best performance last night. But anyway. Um, that was at Man v Fat, which I haven't been to for a little while. I've gone back to it. and um, That's at Portland Road and Ipswich on a Friday night. It's really good football if you're trying to lose weight. But anyway, I did a whole video about it. Go check it out. Um, I had a parcel turn up. And um, I thought we'd unbox it live. But um, I'm just trying to get rid of my address. Oh, I'll tell you what, what an eBay seller this is. There's like a chocolate bar in there. Let me put the camera down for one second. So it's a Thor Lego set. The box is destroyed, but I knew the box wasn't perfect when I bought it. But it literally cost me six quid, including postage. And I wanted a full minifigure for my Lego, Lego collection, which is obviously all over there, like my whole Marvel collection. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. We got like this whole four set. Um, but I mainly just wanted the, the four minifigure and the Mighty Four. But they also chucked the Whisper in. Which is still in date as well. I thought I'd better check that before I consume it. So we've not done a Lego update in ages. So I thought we'd just go through the superhero shelf. We'll probably do an update on everything soon. But yeah, the Batman. Superhero shelf does have the Friends Cafe just in the corner. Because that's the best place for it. But there is my Avengers Plus. The odd person from other stuff like Wolverine and the Joker. Oh, and Sub Zero. Freeze! But yeah, I've got Thor now. And Doctor Strange is another new addition, so. Really need Captain America next. So I've gone Burger King for the pre match fuel, and I got Doritos chicken fries, which I reviewed recently, so go check that out after if you want to know what they're like. So we just walked down the river to the stadium and um, I was telling Chris yesterday, I saw this animal, I'll put a picture up now. I'm not sure if that's a rat or what that is. Like, it didn't move like anything I saw in it, like it was proper swimming. It looks kind of rat-like, but also looks, to me it looks a bit like a possum, which obviously we don't have in England, so no idea what it is, let me know if you know. But we're now coming up the Portman Road, it's very busy. I think everyone's there now to meet the coach, actually. Flags are out. And it's still over two hours to kick off, but the party atmosphere is here. Have a look at this. Blue Army in full effect. Flares are out now. We just haven't got a program because it's not a game you want to miss. We're in the, the good old fan zone now. God, it's amazing work you do. And ladies and gentlemen, if you do have any spare change in your pocket, whether that be notes or. So I just finished my first beer and there's a problem. I don't think you can even see it on camera. 
you might be able to at the top of the slot bubbles there's a little black hair and i don't think it's mine this way down constantine road and will be coming down by the back wall towards reception whether you're making your way out to constantine road or heading over to the back wall make sure you give the boys loads and loads of support but please do not climb up the fence as well thank you come on the town here we go loads of flares So we're on point two. Coach is now coming over there. This is why everyone's disappeared that way. I'm telling you, it's Road today, so it's really exciting. I have a fly in my point. It's all going wrong. Welcome to Portland Road. Weather here, this is what you want. We're in the stadium right now before kickoff. Ed in the blast and sun shining. I've got my shorts on, tanning up. You gotta love it. Here comes the town team. Picture off down the tunnel. Blue arms in full effect. Exit has brought quite a few as well. For such a small club, I'm impressed. Shout out to these Exeter fans blasting the killers. I rate that. Here comes Exeter. Like a couple of their shots. I don't know where Glad they put that sprinkler on. I could do with a spray. Listen to the noise for each player. Might be the loudest I've ever heard. Nearly half time and I didn't want to queue for ages. Um, 
I've got a new watch, so we're timing the stoppage time. It's three minutes, we've played 20 seconds in the football. But at least I know when it's actually going to end now. My watch was four seconds in front of the ref, but I can take that. 5 0 first half. I love it. I've got to say, I rate how much fun the Exeter players are having. You know, 5 0 down, but the subs are, you know, they've got a little rondo going, they're having a laugh, they're enjoying it. Yeah, they're just, they're just living the dream. Imagine being that happy 5-0 down, that's like disgusting. We just got soaked and wet because of the, the sprinkler guy played a little prank. It was fun, it was nice in it, brother. I liked it. The second half's coming. Well, not real soon, it's coming right now. The second half is underway. Come on, you blues. Two minutes into the second half and Wes Burns has tripped the keeper. 6-0. Christian Walton's got the sub off so he can have, a, have the ovation he deserves. Well as extra stewards. We now have a procession of coppers coming out to try and stop it going on the pitch at full time. Be interesting to see what happens. The, the cops are still coming up. There's a lot of them. The cops are just might have a end as well. It's like a quite a few of them turning up. So as as well as the little police operation. From the security company as well. Just trying to stop people going on the pitch. The stoppage time just started, but um, I honestly could not start stopping, so I have no idea how long's left. I'm so getting bored of looking at that now. Just keeps coming up. Well, some people got on. To be fair, the cops aren't really trying to like stop it as such. They're just kind of letting it all like unfold. <laughs> Town fans are now singing, get off the pitch. Get off the pitch, get off the pitch. Like, the players haven't been able to have their moment to like celebrate because of it. Louis got his big flag out. So it's crazy on the other side. They're setting up a, a Skybet League One sign, I don't know what that's about. The promotion. The players are allowed out now. I think this is all town fans that were um, sat in the way and don't really know what's going on, it's not that organised. The Honor has begun for the Super Blues.
mechanic is just in mechanical. Mechanic's just been thrown up in the air. There we go again. I'll let everybody see it. I'm so far away and it's so sunny. Enjoy the film. I love how it's an acid and it's just kind of left the celebration and stuff to kick about with your boy. Absolutely right that. That was special. Probably the best game I've ever seen at Ipswich Town. Like, definitely my best day I've ever had a Portland ride. I'm actually so tired after all, the, all them celebrations that I've had to go get a can of Monster just to... Well, I did have a whisper as well, push for coal, but... I need something to poke me up, I feel knackered. But it's worth it, well worth it. So I'm home now, and as you can see, I've caught the sun, like, so bad. Like, um... Yeah, it was a very hot day at Portland Road. And it was a special day, honestly. Like the series get promoted like that was. It's one of my. It's probably my best day ever at Portland Road. Like I don't think I've ever enjoyed an Ipswich match or atmosphere as much as that. And I think Ipswich this season, I've loved it. Honestly, I've had so much fun, and it is weird. And I will reiterate, I'm a Liverpool fan first, but um, it was special to be there for that. It was so good, and you know I was going to go for some drinks after, but I feel so bloody tired. Honestly, I feel exhausted after that. Like, phew, just like intense, really. Like, proper, phew, I don't know, just like, I think it's the emotion of it and that, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's more draining when you get, like, emotional, I guess. But um, it was wonderful. If you're an Ipswich fan, make sure you subscribe to the channel now because I have a season ticket renewed for next season. So we will be vlogging every game at home next season in the Championship. We're going to be doing the Derby against Norwich. We're going to be doing Ipswich, maybe versus Sunderland. Um, they're in the playoffs, potentially, so maybe not Sunderland. But there's some big teams in that league. You know, Leeds might get relegated. Everton might get relegated. There's some massive vlogs coming next season in the Championship. And I'm very excited for it. And I feel like Ipswich deserves it. Like, Ipswich as a town deserves it. Ipswich as a fan base definitely deserves it. Just while I'm editing the video, I thought I'd better do a shout-out for my man, Dr. J here, who's a long-time friend of the channel. We made some awesome vlogs. He's... He's been to visit me in Ipswich and um, he was watching the game all the way over in America today and he sent me a little picture of, of me at the game. So, yeah, it was, it was amazing to see, like, him watching in America. So, I just thought it was really cool that, you know, this channel has bore an Ipswich supporter across the pond. And, like, I've just been looking at the, the team, like, on my way home, talking to my mate Chris and... It's like a championship ready team in my opinion. Like you don't if you don't have to add anyone, I think that team is ready to finish mid table in the championship at least. So I'm looking forward to it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Um let me know in the comments down below who your player of the season is, what your goal of the season is. I think I might do like an Ipswich Town kind of like season review type video, I think. Um I'm not sure. I think it's a good idea. Let me know what you'd want to be in that if I do make that. And um all there's left to say is I've been Link. You be my legends. Town are going up. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.